guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and you can follow me on Twitter at SuperHiveyC, as well as on Instagram, Brooks underscore Hive. Um, there's also links in the description, such as for my merch if you're interested in purchasing any of that, you can check that out. Links to my Twitter profile and the AFSP Autumn Snyder Fund, alright? So, there has been a lot to discuss. Gus, a lot to talk about, right? I'm going to try to cover at least some of it in this video. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be too long, so let's get into it. I'm glad I saw this before making a video um, because I think this is going to continue to happen. Zack Snyder has started sharing more images that we've never um, seen, well, except for the one of Diana. We saw that in the teaser, but the Cyborg one and then the Joker one, and now we have another, a new bat Nightmare Batman image and I think Zach's going to continue to share images leading up to the release of the trailer which is most likely going to be 214 February 14th right so Nightmare Batman but this is very different the setting is very different from the um, nightmare scene that we've seen so far in BVS and you know the teaser where it's outdoor where the earth is in this apocalyptic state this is inside like a weird hallway very eerie um, but it looks kind of similar to I don't know I guess it's hard to tell because the image of Joker that we saw that we got yesterday was so <clears throat> distorted and blurry of course to keep his new look a secret for the movie but it looks like it could be taking place in the same setting based on kind of like the background and the way it looks around Joker and then where Batman is standing so it's very, very interesting. And of course, you know, it's not too much of a stretch to think that this might be taking place in the same setting because we are kind of somewhat expecting um, to see Joker in a nightmare sequence. So, of course, ha he included hashtag Zack Snyder's Justice League and hashtag Snyder Cut. Recently, there's been kind of some debate going on between people which hashtag they should use. I personally use both, um, but I think and Zach's using both, so I think, you know, it's, Snyder Cut has become a very, you know, it's become the term that since before we even knew it was going to get released. That's what we've been using, right? And that's kind of how this has happened in the first place, released the Snyder Cut. And so, you know, use whichever one you want. I personally use both, but whichever one you want, I use them interchangeably. I refer to it as Zack Snyder's Justice League and also the Snyder Cut. Either way, we're getting it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> All right, so awesome new image. Like I said, I think we'll continue to get new images from Zach leading up to the release of the trailer. Um, so I'm looking forward to see what else he shares. And also, um, Sean O'Connell shared some more um, quotes from Zach from his upcoming book release. You know, the the describes the journey of the release of Snyder Cut movement. And so I just want to read that quote. Um, this is something that we haven't really been able to hear Zach talk about from a um, personal view and that is the I guess you would say um, accusation that the Snyder Cut fandom is toxic. So he was kind of asked about that and this is what he had to say. I just think that sour grapes, there's really no other way to say it. We know the people who were the architects of that narrative and it's pretty obvious what their agenda is. Those are people that I've been held back from confronting by wiser people in the room. Because I'd love to get at some of these characters. Some direct conversation would be nice. Just to say, one, you don't know shit about what you're talking about. And we can break down everything that they've ever said. I can make a list. There's a few of these guys where I could just make get a list of everything they've ever said that they thought was right and I could tell them every single thing they've said is wrong. And so in what world do you have any credibility anywhere to anyone? I would love the opportunity to just say to the world and to fandom in general who these fakers are and what should be done to them or with them. It's just a bunch of BS. In regards to that toxic fandom or it's a win for toxic fandom, again, in what world does this toxic fandom raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for suicide prevention? How is that toxic fandom? They probably have achieved more than any other fan base and done more good than any other group, so I don't understand. So, again, the fan base has been called toxic plenty of times, 
and that when the Snyder Cut was announced, um, Zack Snyder's Justice League was announced, you know, there were people out there saying that this is a win for a toxic, for toxic fans, you know, they're getting what they want after being toxic. Um, I've said plenty of times before, there's toxic people in any fandom or fan base. Whether or not you choose to engage with those kind of people is up to you. I personally choose not to as much as I can. That's not what I am here for. I don't think it does any good. Um, I try to just stay away from that kind of stuff. But the thing is, is that people who call the Snyder fandom toxic, they're tr they kind of tend to group every t Snyder fan into that group. And obviously that's not true. There are, I've had so many good interactions with great people and made friends through this. And um, like I said, in any group of people, there's going to be the toxic people or the ones that are kind of just, you know, like to stir the pot and don't really like to promote the positivity side of it. And so, you know, um, unfortunately that exists in this fandom as well. <laughs> And, you know, Zach has never really got to address that before. And so it's nice to kind of hear, um, it's natural to hear frustration on his end. You know, it's not the toxic fans. Um, it, what, we didn't get this movie because we were being toxic. Yeah, there were people on the, doing those kinds of things. But overall, that's not the, that's not the fandom as a whole. All right. So I just wanted to share that and kind of share, you know, what Zach had to say from a personal perspective. And I mean, Zach is very hands off, like he said before, when it comes to um, engaging with that kind of um, behavior. And like he said, it's not that he, I mean, he would like to, he would like to have direct conversation with some of these people, but he's saying that by, he's being held back by wiser people in the room who are probably saying, just don't do it. But I can understand why it would be difficult not to for his end. It's hard for some of us not to, so I can imagine for him, you know. Um, speaking of positivity, though, for Zack Snyder's Justice League, IGN has also announced that they will have an IGN Fan Fest, um, a virtual event lineup. All right, so this is going to take place on February 26th and 27th. It's going to be a free two-day digital event that will feature exciting first looks, exclusive gameplay, cast reunions, new details, and interviews from around the world, and will spotlight some of the biggest and most anticipated entertainment and games of the year. The lineup includes Zack Snyder's Justice League. All right, so that's what I'm going to focus on here. Um, so let's see the details that they have. There's not yet it says to stay like in the loop that you know in the coming weeks they will have more announcements and updates uh schedule announcements and updates so it doesn't say yet because it's a two-day event it doesn't say yet which day zack snyder's justice league panel will um occur but that will come all right so if we go down to see what it says about uh inside it says justice league inside the snyder cut with zack snyder Zack Snyder will offer fans an inside look into the making of the Snyder Cut, answering all of our questions and yours about the HBO Max release of Zack Snyder's Justice League. And then it has the new and updated um, synopsis for the movie that was revealed or was released with the new um, posters that we got recently. So there are different ways to send questions, okay? And IGN kind of explains that um, on their on their article for this, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> how to submit questions. All right, so if you want to submit questions for, I'm, I mean, obviously they can't take all of them, but you know, if you want to submit a question for one of the panels, it says remember to make it clear in your question which property and or guest your question is directed at. So you can direct them via directly IGN.com. You can post a comment or upload a video question using Yappa in the comments section of this article. Um, Twitter, tweet or text a video question using the hashtag, hashtag IGN FanFest and add IGN. Instagram, you can also record a video post using the same Instagram, tag IGN.com. TikTok, record a video, same hashtag, um, at IGN. Facebook, write a comment on this IGN Facebook post. They have links in the article where it take you directly to those pages. Uh, their Facebook uh, page and on YouTube you can also write a comment on this IGN YouTube community post again there's a link there so um, 
that should hopefully be a positive way to, you know, the some people we're kind of noticing that like Warner Brothers hasn't been very vocal about marketing Zack Snyder's Justice League so far. And um I kind of know personally some details on why that probably is, which a lot of you have probably assumed yourself and have um Robert Meyer along the lines of what Robert Meyer Burnett recently said on his um one of his streams. Um but I will probably have to cover cover that in a live stream because that's a video in and of itself. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, this should hopefully be a good time to promote Zack Snyder's Justice League. And I'm glad that they're doing like um, a thing for Zack to answer questions and to show, you know, kind of an inside look at it because the main thing is to show that it is not the same movie that was in theaters in 2017, nor is it just an extended version or a director's cut with like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of unseen footage. It is a completely different movie. Although there might be very minimal similarities, um, it is a very different movie. And so that's what's hopefully, maybe they can kind of get that across during this event. And I look forward to it. So um, I think that's all I wanted to cover for today. Like I said, I'll have to cover some of the other stuff I was able to find out. Oh, also, um, Zack Snyder's Justice League has officially been given an R rating. Zack Snyder mentioned that he expected this to happen because of the violence in some of the action scenes and some language. Um, I don't expect this to be a hard R, kind of similar to how BVS The Ultimate Edition is. It's rated R, but there's not a whole lot of content that makes it rated R. It's kind of on the softer side of an, of an R rated movie. I mean, Zack Snyder's Justice League might have more R-rated content just because it is four hours long and there should be, you know, more action sequences. It's not going to be one of those movies that's, like, totally rated R content from start to finish, you know, like constant F-bombs and nudity and, you know, sexual scenes and um, constant adult content. You know what I mean? It's just certain things that kind of take it out of that PG-13 um, limit. He did mention there's some F-bombs in there, <laughs> specifically one from Batman, and he kind of said that some of the language Cyborg uses is more mature um, at, at a certain point in the movie. And Steppenwolf is a lot more of a violent threat compared to the version that we got in t the 2017 theatrical version. He has a giant axe, so that is going to be more graphic in those scenes, but like I said, it's not going to be, I don't expect it to be a rated R from start to finish type of film, obviously. Just certain things that take it beyond those PG-13 limits. All right, so um, that's what I wanted to cover for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, check out the links in the description, and we will see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll be able to spill some tea for you on a live stream. So <laughs> we'll see you next time.